Good evening, I'm Andre Costa, I work for Arista Networks, and as a public service announcement, upgrading your compiler isn't free. Some, some point a long time, you're going to want to upgrade your compiler because you want access to something like C++14 when you didn't have it before, but you will run into issues. We're gonna start with the assumption that your code already compiles cleanly. We'll assume that all the stuff I'm talking about, we actually ran into when we upgraded the compiler last, and it also assumes that your, compiler, your code base is big enough that you can't do it in an afternoon. You're going to have to spend a bunch of time, and in our case, coordinate amongst hundreds of developers, thousands of packages. Upgrading your compiler, you're going to run into problems, such as new warnings. And there, some of them are problems, some of them aren't. Notating when you have some fall throughs. That may or may not be a bug, but it'll take you time to look at your code to find out, did you mean that to be a fall through, or is there a break missing? In our case, we found both. <laughs> Additionally, memset on a non-trivial class, which probably came from some of our legacy code, which originally was in C, so you'd have your struct, you'd memset it to zero, you're great. Months or possibly years later, before I joined the company, someone upgraded the struct to be C++ and gave it a constructor. And then we upgraded the compiler, and the compiler finally pointed out, went, um, you are memsetting something that isn't a trivially constructible class. But even beyond warnings, we continue on to unspecified behavior. In our case, we had some collection. We iterated across the collection into an unordered set, so we can strip out all the duplicates. We then iterated across that unordered set into an array to hand out to the client, displayed in the CLI. Of course, remember, this is an unordered set. Iteration orders unspecified behavior. We did our upgrade, tests failed. So of course you have to spend time, did our program break or is something else going wrong? In our case, the tests. The tests should not have been checking for that order because of the unordered set. And if unspecified behavior isn't bad enough, undefined behavior will kick you too. In our case, we were taking a one bit, trying to left shift it 70 bits in a 64 bit int. Oops. Although, to be honest, we weren't using a literal 70, it was a listing in an enum. So we tried to upgrade, in this case, to GCC 8.3, and it came back and said, yes, that's zero. Well, it used to be 64. So we looked it up, found out that there was a problem in the compiler and the optimizer, upgraded to GCC 8.4, and it went back to 64. The compiler's not wrong. They're both correct answers as far as that goes. It's undefined behavior. And there's the gold bolt link if you want to see it actually in action. After undefined behavior, you may run into outright compiler bugs. They exist. This one we happen to hit, the optimizer is the first one. This second one that we hit is, we had two enums, straight up standard C enums, that we tried to compare two values between them, and the compiler came up with two warnings. One of them being we were comparing two enums of different types, perfectly valid warning, and remember, we turned all warnings into errors. And the second one was a sign mismatch. Okay, it's a C enum, they're both int. Where's the sign mismatch coming from? So as a nutshell, upgrading a compiler isn't free. You are going to hit problems, it is going to take time to diagnose these things. So this won't be an afternoon's item. Don't misunderstand me, I'm not saying don't upgrade your compiler. Upgrading compiler gives you very good things, and in most of those cases, highlighted legitimate bugs in the source code that you didn't know you had. Your compiler is your friend. Thank you.